Okay, so hello and welcome. I want to share a very interesting Python library with you. This library, TradingView TA, is enabling us to extract information from TradingView. So for instance, you can get buying or selling recommendations based on technical indicators on TradingView. So as you see here, let's zoom a bit in. This code block is pulling data for the one day interval for Tesla. And as you see, the recommendation is buy as more indicators are presuming an uptrend then there are indicators presuming either a downtrend or a side move. So we are playing a bit around with what information we can extract using Python and we will also discuss how we can utilize this in the future to build a trading board or in general test these signals. I will urgently need your feedback if that sounds interesting for you, so please let me know. Thanks a lot in advance. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, please make sure you've installed the TradingView TA library. Then we are going to import from TradingView TA and we are going to import the TA handler. You just saw that in the Tesla example and also interval providing us the common trading intervals. One minute, five minutes, 50 minutes and so on. And now we are going to create a variable where we are storing the output of the TA handler request. Using TA handler here, provide a symbol and I'm going to start with Bitcoin. Now I need to provide a screener. How do I get this information? I'm going to open up this site, which I will link in the video description and get an overview of the different screeners I can use. So as you see, there are actually quite some options, Forex, India, UK, America, there you got NASDAQ and NYSE, but I'm going to take crypto and I'm going to take a look at the Binance exchange. So we are providing crypto, as screener and Binance as the exchange. Last but not least, we have to define the interval using interval and then access the one minute interval, just as an example. Executing that, we are getting a trading view object and we can use methods on that. So for instance, get analysis and then we are taking a look at the summary and as you see, now overall, we should sell Bitcoin right now, getting only six indicators recommending to buy Bitcoin, 10 recommending to sell and 10 to hold. So overall, a sell recommendation. If you want to get the indicators or more information on the indicators, you can take a look at the indicators. And here you see all common technical indicators, RSI, Stochastic Slow, ADX, MACD and so on, right? Take a look at that for yourself. Now, why could this be interesting? Well, we could take a look at a huge amount of different coins and get the recommendations, right? And I'm going to show you quickly how I would do that in a simple loop. So we could define symbols here, and then I'm just going to copy paste a list of symbol from my other screen here. So these are just simply ram random uh, symbols, so not any preference here. So this list of symbols, I just want to loop over all those symbols and get the recommendations. So I'm simply using for symbol in symbols and basically copy paste what I just did. So I'm going to copy paste that one here insert that here, change the symbol to each of those symbols. And I'm going to print out. So first of all, I'm going to print out which symbol I'm currently uh, considering. So I simply take symbol and then add the symbol to that. And then I'm printing out the recommendation summary. So I'm copy pasting again. and take a look at the summary here. All right, so if I'm executing that, I'm getting the recommendations for all those symbols in this list. So basically we got one buying signal, BCH. Let me quickly pull that over here. Let's see how it, how it looked like, BCH. We should buy here and as you see, it's going up, but maybe this is, 
yeah, coincidence, right? So what can we do with this? We could write a script, checking multiple coins, storing the price of the coin whenever a recommended buy is occurring, and then storing the price when the recommended sell is occurring. With that, we can calculate if there is a profit using those signals or recommendations. There are no historical recommendations, so that would be quite a challenging way to go. We would then run this live script over let's say some days and check if those signals are actually profitable. Of course, it would be way better to check for longer time periods. If there are profitable signals, we could write a trading bot based on those signals. If you are interested in continuing with this, please let me know by leaving a comment and very important like this video. Thank you very much for watching and I would be quite excited about this, so I'm looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Bye bye!